Hey folks, welcome back to Street Rust. Uh, it is, uh, well, last video we got these painted, which was last night for me. Uh, it'll be a couple days for you, but uh, what we're doing now, we're getting them wrapped. We want to take this header and make it look like this. And let me tell you something. For you uh, baby boomers and you Gen, you Gen Xers, you remember when you were a kid and uh, you you go to the, the store downtown and buy that little package of itching powder and sprinkle it on your brother and all that. And we all know that with fiberglass, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm covered in fiberglass. If you do this, wear gloves and uh, wear a long sleeve shirt. It's too late for me, I'm done. So I'm already all infested with this fiberglass. So I'm probably sucking it in too, which isn't good for me. But uh, anyway, um, so we're gonna make this look like this. I did the hardest one first. I've never done this before, so I had to learn how to do it. So hopefully uh, that looks okay. And uh, we still got to spray paint with the silicone. We'll be doing that tomorrow after this dries and I'll explain that. Okay, so what you do, you take the roll. Uh, first of all, I bought this on uh, eBay. For, I think I paid 20 some dollars, like 20, 25 bucks for two rolls. It came with all the wire ties. It was a killer deal. It's fiberglass, it's not Kevlar. Um, and at the end of the video, not the end of the video, we have to let it dry overnight, but at the end of the video for you, you'll see the silicone spray, high temp silicone paint and coating will be coating all this and bringing it together before we put them on, okay? Um, so anyway, you don't want to saturate this in water and there's a couple videos out there. Uh, you can watch, there's even one on eBay that has a link to it. Basically just turn the water on, let it run across the top, let it run across the, the, uh, the other side. And then I just ran the water, you know, all the way around it. And that was plenty, makes it a lot more pliable. And to be honest with you, it probably <laughs> reduces the, uh, the, uh, fiberglass dust. Okay. Anyway. All right, so let's get started. So the hardest part for me was the collector. So this is gonna be on the passenger side, on the, on the right-hand side. And what, what we wanna do is we're gonna come in and wrap these individually. We're gonna come in and wrap this individually. And then we're gonna start the collector wrap all the way around and bring it together and keep wrapping up through there. Now. There's all kinds of videos out there for long tube headers and little skinny motorcycle headers and all that kind of stuff. I didn't see anything out there on shorty headers because they're a pain in the butt, I'm sure. Okay, the butt talks, sorry. Anyway, uh, so what we wanna do is you wanna measure how many folds, how many wraps is it gonna take to get from here? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie roll? Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop, we all know it's three, right? Anyway, uh, so how many wraps is it gonna take to get from the bottom all the way to the top? Because this may fit through here, but that big roll won't. So what you do, first of all, what's a wrap, but how far down can we go? Ooh, this one goes all the way down. So there's a wrap, I give it a little slack, okay? And you're supposed to cover a quarter inch. So if we're here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm going to go 12 wraps just to make sure, because I've got plenty of wrap here. I'm going to give a little, so that's a wrap I'm going to call. I'm going to give a little extra. So I want 12 of those. There's one. There's two. Well, make sure they're the right size. There's, yeah, I'll count it in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, that roll will jump off the table, and just run all the way across the garage. Guarantee it. Under the car. So that's all we're doing. Cause you, cause you can't sit there and, and wrap this big thing around those little holes. Uh, give yourself a buffer, a little extra, just in case, so you're not wasting material. 
One, two, three, we're by seven, eight. Got a couple more to go. I think we might have it here, let's see. We might have it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna count again. I'm gonna measure twice and cut once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I think I'll have some extra there, but I'd rather have extra than not enough. Okay. Cuts pretty easy with scissors. It does fray. Now, if you have the Kevlar with the sewn edge, you want the sewn edge down towards the collector. This does not have the sewn edge, but they do recommend, and I can understand why, because this stuff just frays like wildfire. Um, go ahead and fold it under to start your to start your wrap. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna get this under here. I really want that. I want this wrap over here. Okay. I'm gonna fold that under. I'm gonna start down below. Tell you what. I'm gonna get y'all a little closer so you can watch this. Watch this a little better. All right. I want to make sure you're seeing this good, all right? Because you don't need to look at me. You need to look at this anyway, okay? All right. So I'm going to wrap that under. I'm just going to pull it tight, and I'm just going to start it through. Live action, baby. Y'all know who the turtle man in Kentucky is? Catches them snapping turtles? Live action. Live action, baby. I'm gonna get it overlapped a quarter inch. Make sure it's tight. All right. All right. Just keep pulling that tight, overlapping it at least a quarter inch. Now I'm gonna guess on this stuff. When when you see me wrap the collector and stuff, you gotta get you gotta get creative. Um, I'm gonna assume more is better because it's insulation. So uh, I had to, I had to uh, do quite a bit on that. Anyway. All right, tight, 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 overlapping it. This could get real boring y'all real fast but it's important that you see this and you're going around so you got to kind of tuck everything boy they make it look easy in them videos don't they but uh you know what you know the saying if it was easy everybody be doing it especially when you get up here Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that. I've probably got too much here, but you know what? I'd rather have too much than too little. So, all right, let's get this unraveled here a little bit. Okay, just keeping it tight. So I'm wrapping it up. You can see it because you're going around the bend. You just gotta. I just kind of tuck that under and keep it going. Now it's easier. I was sitting over in a chair doing the first one, but I'm trying to trying to uh, show you how to. And hey, I've never wrapped headers, so we're all learning together here. I'm gonna keep over overlapping it. Woo! I got way too much here, but yeah, that was probably wasteful. But for training purposes, I don't think it was the best decision. Saw a video, uh, I think it's Mike the car guy. He did it and he cut it too short. Yep, start over. Just wasted, well, you can use it for something else, but okay. I don't want to waste that much on every one of them. Though, so. All right, now this is where, see how we're like this? Now we got to really bind it tight. And we'll get our wire tie on there. And I'm not. So proud that I won't give it a double loop just to get it tight. But you know what? I think that's pretty doggone good right there. I think what I'm gonna do, 
Now you also want to fold it under, so I'm going to give myself a little extra here. Yep, way too much. All right, so I'm going to fold this under. Same concept as when we started. I probably would like to get a little closer there. But let, me, let me see what I can do with that. Thing is, you can unwrap it to see that, how I'm tightening that up there against that. And when we spray this with the silicone, it should bring all this together and tighten it all up. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. All right, now, here's your, your little wire ties that come with this. I want it pointed towards the back, so I'm gonna do it like this. I want the piece sticking out. Now, yeah, let me get this on and I'll show you what's, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Sliding it through. Okay, I'm getting it in the center. In the, you know, in the videos and the pictures, when you buy this stuff, it looks all, you know, it's like parallel with this and it looks perfect. Well, the wrap isn't parallel and to get the best hold, what I found is that that's probably a little too far down. Get that back up. And you cannot reuse these, not to my knowledge. Okay, there we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna tighten it up with my hands, get it snug. Then they sell tools for this. Okay, whatever. Um, it's not rocket science. Um, you wanna cinch it up like that. Okay, that's pretty dang tight. Now, wire cutters, will not cut this unless unless you got some kind of wire cutter that I'm not familiar with. I had to get out the wire snips to actually, uh, let me get this cut off. I use my wire snips, seems to work okay sometimes. Well, come on, let me make a liar at you. There we go. All right, um, now with the little piece that's left there, I'm gonna get that lined out. And I want you to see this. So what I'm gonna do, let me, uh, let me fold it under. Okay, before I do this, I want you to see this. You can see that I folded that piece under itself. Now I'm gonna take a hammer and just tap it down. That way you don't have a bunch of sharp edges here while you're working on your vehicle, you slice your arm or hand open, okay? Get that tucked a little better. There we go. And then just send her home. Tap that down. There you go. Okay. Um, so not to bore y'all to death, this one, this one is going to be just like this one. So what I'll do, I'm going off camera here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one. But when I get done, I wonder if there's enough on here to do that middle piece. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, when I get ready to do the, the collector and bring it all up here together, I'll get you back in here. Hey folks, uh, lied to you. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this last, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this piece, and then I'll come back with the collector and do this piece, because as, as this is sitting on the engine, from just from an aus I gotta get into the camera. Just from an aesthetic standpoint, you want the flow, this will be wrapped, and then you want the flow to go around here and then come up and all flow up through here just so it looks good. All right, so I'll, I'll knock this out and then I'll be back. All right, got that little middle section done. It wasn't too difficult. Um, I think I've got enough left off the first roll to do what we gotta do here. So this is extremely difficult down here because how this is beveled, where this collector is, We'll see, we'll see if we got enough. So, fold it under, gotta start somewhere, so we'll just start right here. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, you gotta put the collector. Come on now, you can do it. I actually did the other header first because I kind of felt like it was Maybe a slightly more difficult. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's see what I gotta do here. Get 
that folded over. Let's start this here. Got to get that up under. It's it's hard to get it around the collector, like I said, because it's uh, it's just there ain't, there ain't nothing. What I had to do, I'll show you what I had. To, I did this. See, I I brought it up and around, and I'm kind of doing a almost an X pattern to try to get this to where everything is covered. Ooh, that looks like dog dookie right there. That one didn't wrap well. Let me see if I can get it to come back across here. Tuck that under. It just ugly. U-G-L-Y. You ain't got no alibi, you ugly. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I, I'm having to wrap this too many times. Boy, that's just not good. See there, this this collector with the pain in the rear. You just keep working with it. You'll finally find the find the combination. See how it's sticking up there? I don't like that at all. But if I if I do this, you know what I could do? Because I'm gonna. I just don't think I'm gonna have enough here to do what I want now. I could go up like that, come back down and around. Sometimes you just do what you gotta do. I'm gonna come back around the bottom. I need, I need one more good swipe right there, though, to get that fully covered. And that, my friends, is going to leave me with a bunch of holes. And I can almost guarantee I'm not going to have enough here, but that's that's the ticket, what I had to do there. Let's see if I can tuck this. I don't like it, but... a little better because really what I have to do here I've got to give it a couple more swoops here I can start by coming around here but I got a hole in the back here so I got to run it around again and we are just absolutely not gonna have enough but See how I got all that covered up? And actually what I would do, that just looks like doggone molasses on a hot summer day. It's all over the place. Um, tell you what, let me regroup, be right back. All righty, here we go. Uh, so it looks like I'm putting an old cast on somebody's leg. But you know, that's just what you got to do. You know, like I said, on these shorty headers, you know, on long tube header, the collector's way down here. It's all straight. When you get to the curves, it's a little dicey, but this is so compressed. Uh, it's just, just a challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this off. Got to get this done tonight so I can let this, uh, all this moisture dry. Then tomorrow night, we'll, uh, we'll shoot her down with the silicone spray. We about got her licked here, folks. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Just gotta kind of bring this 
all the way up and around. Ooh, look at there. We got her. Oops, that didn't work. That didn't work. That worked. I don't know if I got enough to, I don't have enough to bring that all the way around. I'm gonna snip that off a little bit. And we'll tuck it and tuck it and wrap it. Okay. So I'm gonna take this last one. Instead of doing this where it frays, once again, fold it under. Oh, I want that all the way up on the header. Tuck it under. Okay, let's see how we look. How's that look? That little fray oh, that fraying is part of the into that. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty good. And these, if you put them on upside down, might as well cut it off and start over. Hope, hope y'all can see this. I apologize. I wanted to get you in here where you could see it good. Um, hopefully I got that right. Yep. On there just right. So. Okay, there's that. Let's tighten that up. There we go. That's snugged up. Now we'll cut that off. We'll tuck it under. underneath like so all right good job folks <laughs> all right now we gotta get one on the collector all right let's see get this up here come on now you can do it you can do it, Mickey. Only through the miracle of bifocals can I do this. There we go. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and just pull that snug the best I can before I give it a... Oh, yeah. There you go. Now I'm going to give it a... Piece the onions there. All right, there we go. That's nice and tight down there. All right. Snip that off. Roll that under. Roll it under. And then we'll, I got a little punch out because it's hard to get down in there. Flatten that all out. Okay. All right. Let's get everything where you can see it get you in here. So we got quite a bit of extra material here, which is wonderful. Uh, there's our scrap. So not too bad there. I want y'all to see these. I'm gonna send them both over here. All right. Let me grab this uh, silicone spray. All right. Here we go. You know what? I don't necessarily care for some of some of these little spots here, but I think overall, pretty good looking job for these shorty headers. Um, it just is what it is. And once we spray this down again with this DEI high temp silicone paint and coating, that's about twenty bucks a can. Got that at AutoZone. I believe they had it in stock. Um, I'll snip off those little frays there. But um, anyway, it is what it is. I'll get those sprayed down tomorrow night, folks. Um, it is humid out here. It's late. I got to work in the morning. 
So, uh, not thank you for watching, but thank you for watching. We'll be back in a couple seconds. It'll be tomorrow for you, a couple seconds for me. We'll get these, uh, we'll get these siliconed up. And then we'll end the video there. And then the next video, we'll come in and install them and get this thing cranked up. See you shortly. Ah, oh yeah. You say, oh no, oh yeah. So, hey, guys, what am I supposed to be working on tonight? This. This is what I came home to. What are we doing, Gabriel? Huh? Bearings. Will bearings on what? CRX. Nice hair. <laughs> yep. I tell you what, it hurt. It was painful. But uh, we may not get these painted tonight, but just a short intermission. We'll be back with you. Hours for me, seconds for y'all. Hey, Gabriel siding. Woo! All right, folks, we're back. It was supposed to be a couple but the next night it's like three days later uh i think you saw just saw a little clip before what i came home to with gabriel he had a uh bottom line is the bearing he was he pulled the bearings out of that honda and the, the bearing came apart and it would be equivalent to a race you know that you'd pound into an old drum it stayed on there there was no way to get it off we had to cut it and then the next night did the same thing so uh, been a little busy with that, but nonetheless, we are going to get these the last step before we install these. We're going to get these painted, and we are using this high temp silicone paint and coating. And it does not give a dry time, but what it does, it says do a light coat, let it dry, do a light coat, let it dry, do a light coat if you need to do it again. So that's what we're going to do. First, I need to lay some cardboard down here real quick. Absolutely forgot to do that. That'll keep all the overspray, at least part of it, off the ground here. Keep a little bit of that off the ground. Be easier to clean up in the end. So there's some cardboard. And there would be a big old spider. You're gonna die. Brown recluse. That probably scares some of you, but uh, here in Northwest Arkansas, they're pretty common. Common as a common house spider. So anyway, let me give you a shot here. I, I just hit a spot right here, but we're gonna do the same thing we did. We're just gonna give this a light coat. The hard part is getting in everywhere. So we gotta, we got to take different angles. And it's hard to tell when you're painting black on black. But you got everything. That stuff dries. I can already tell it's drying pretty quick. Boy, I need some light over here. I can't see nothing. I waited until it got dark outside. Now the bugs are going to get in here. Got to get up underneath here. Got to get up underneath. Let's see. Okay, there's one thing. Let's get this one over here. We'll go ahead and get the outside of this. There's the barking dog. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, got that. Let's get the back side. I know this is probably pretty boring, but it's a pretty tedious process. You want to do it right the first time, obviously. Getting that light coat on here. Okay. Let's see what That's the start. All right, let me, let me get you in here. Oop, miss, definitely missed something there. Definitely missed that.
Okay. All right, we'll get you in here. Let's take a look. All right. It's it's drying. I mean, this is almost dry. I mean, that's dry. That is dry. So we can we can hit this again pretty quick. So I tell you what. Let me uh, so I don't bore you to death with spray painting. Uh, let me go ahead and get another couple light coats on this. I'll let it dry, and then uh, we'll take a look at the final product, and then tomorrow we'll put them on. Be back shortly. All right, we're done. I had to had to close the garage door. The bugs were coming in. The dogs were barking, driving me batty. So anyway, oh, I missed the spot right there. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, I used the whole can. You can see it's drying out there. Uh, the other one's hanging over here. That's it. That's what it is. That's what it's gonna be. And uh, we'll get them slapped on. And uh, so tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, well tomorrow sometime we'll get these installed and get cranked up, warm up, see how they sound. Uh, tomorrow, let me show you the starter. I've got it sitting over here. This starter is like way too big. Where did I put the starter? Where did I put the starter? Is it under the car? Did I leave it under the car? How dare I leave a starter under the car? Anyway, there's the starter. That is way too long. So, somewhere between 94 and 99 on a Dakota uh, V8 or V6, actually, it's the same one. But anyway, they have many starters on them. I'm going to go to the U Pull It here in Northwest Arkansas tomorrow, and I'm going to find me a doggone starter that works. And I'm going to take my jump pack with me so that uh, I can make sure the starter works before I leave the property. Uh, that'll take care of the starter and, and also we've got to get those transmission lines rerouted. I got to figure out all that. So anyway, see you in a few seconds again. All right, Ewans, we're back. So painted these last night with the uh, silicon, black silicon, yada, 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 yada. It's done. It's ready to go on. So I'm in here before I start a video and I'm cleaning up, you know, where the gaskets go. And I'm like, here, let me get this out of the way for now. So I'm like, oh, that fell off now. I'm like, oh, I got a, I got a head bolt back. Here, let me turn this light off. That, that light, well, we're gonna need it. That light just flickers on the camera. I don't like it. Anyway, so I had a stud left in back here. I'm like, oh, I need to take that out. I took out the other, what are there, 12? I took out the 11 with no problems. And guess what I did? Let's see if you can get down in here and see it. Looky there. I busted it clean off. So, before we can get these heads, headers on, um, I went, I took one of the, I took one of the uh, nuts and I cleaned it up because I'm gonna have to weld that on there. So that's what I'm fixing to do. See if I can get that out. So, it's gonna be ugly. I'm probably gonna burn myself. I'm probably gonna cut myself, but uh, I'm not gonna make you watch all this. When I get this done, we'll come back. We'll get these headers installed and wrap up this video. Okay, folks, I have absolute failure. You guys can see in here, you see that bolt? Let me just get you right up on it. Broke, I've tried everything. I, I have, uh, I have tried welding the washer then the bolt then and then some boogers i get it and it ain't very good and because there's a couple reasons there i also tried to drill but i can't you just can't you can't get the right you can't get the angle you need in here because the steering column so i got two choices i see at this point i'm gonna sleep on it because i think that's the right thing to do and I've been out here for so many hours, I can't remember how many I've been out here. But uh, uh, I can probably the easiest, well, <laughs> the easiest, uh, dang it, brain lock. All right, been out here too long on this. Pull the head and do it the right way. Uh, of course, all this has got to come off. 
or I pull the steering column to give me enough room with the drill to get in there and drill it. That may be the solution. I'll do a little research on that. But you know what, folks? Uh, these are ready to go. We've clearly demonstrated that they'll fit and and there's more to come you're going to see it you're going to see a video on we got to get the starter thing squared away we got to get the transmission line squared away but uh i think you've had enough for today i know i have so uh we're going to end this video here uh it's not always success but we're definitely moving forward in the right direction so thank you all for watching please like please subscribe and please share be blessed